everyone, welcome to Light Force Academy, Order of the Paladin. I am the Master of the Paladin, Master Patrick Tadavosian. And welcome to our Light Force Academy online video tutorials. We are going to be posting a lot of these tutorials on our channel, on our uh, website, on our Facebook uh, page. Um, and please check them out, especially our YouTube channel. Please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. It will help us out a lot, help us keep putting out a bunch of these videos. These videos are here for you to use as how you see fit. If you want to add them to your training, or if you are a Life Force Academy member, whether it's local or uh, anywhere around the world, you're welcome to use these training methods to help better your technique. Okay? Today we are going to go over just the basic attention stance, the salute, the ready stance, the proper etiquette for Life Force Academy. Okay? So, what we're going to do right now is we're going to first go over how to hold the saber. All right? Now, I am right-handed, okay? My dominant hand is my right hand, okay? So with my off hand, I'm either going to hold the saber at the emitter, upside down, at my hip, or if you have a belt, okay, go ahead and feed it right through, and then hold, put your hand at your emitter, okay? You want to have control. Always know that you're wearing your belt, no one's taking it, it doesn't drop or anything like that. Never drop your saber. All right, so you're going to hold on to that. Your feet are apart. Your dominant hand is going to be a fist tight behind your back to your lower back. Okay, right in the center of your lower back. All right, with your feet apart, stand nice and straight. This is the ready stance. Okay, the ready stance. The attention stance, what you would do is you would bring your dominant leg, the side that doesn't have the saber on it right now, you bring that in and you bring your other hand to your side. So this is our attention stance, this is our ready stance, okay? Now, to draw the saber, okay? I'm going to bring in the side with the saber and bring that leg in towards me and as I do that, I'm going to grab my saber, draw it, and then I will either get into my on guard stance or my horse stance depending on what we're doing, okay? I'm using our brand new Paladin Saber. If you have a video, check that out. I go over all the features and what I think of it. I'll give you a hint, I love it. But I'll tell you all the features in that other video. So depending on which uh, stance you're gonna do, you have the different grip point options, okay? So go ahead and put your Saber back. So you're in your ready stance. You're gonna draw your Saber. Now when we salute at Light Force Academy, we keep our head up and salute. Why? It's important to be aware of your surroundings at all times and not to expose your head to a potential whack, all right, uh, by, by another saberist, all right? So now, when you go ahead and compete, you have your own fancy uh, salutes and bows, whatever you want to do as part of your cosplay as well. Go ahead and have fun. I'm just teaching you how we will bow and salute for class and how we will bow and salute on your test, just to make sure that you know the proper etiquette but again, you can have leeway with it in competition or a demonstration. So we're here. So you will draw your saber, bring your foot in. And as you salute, power up. Okay? And then I'm going to show you how we get into horse stance. Now, again, I said that my right hand is the dominant hand, which means my right leg is the dominant leg. So I drew the saber as salute to go to horse stance. I'm going to step out with my non-dominant leg and bend my knees. Then I'm going to go right into the Zidane grip, okay? We'll have a different video going over the different ranks and styles that we offer and that we teach when you're training for Light Force Academy. But to go over quickly, the Zidane is a two-handed grip, okay? Right here, all right? Then you bend your knees and then you can practice your techniques and your blocks from this position. To return, you bring your non-dominant leg, or your inside leg as we call it, and you salute and you want to try to power off, then you put you step out with that non-dominant leg and you're back into your ready stance. Okay? Uh, sometimes we'll say to take a knee. If we say take a knee, and this is going to depend on your dominant hand. Okay, our dominant hand is our outside hand. Our non-dominant hand we call it our inside hand. So everything on the non-dominant side is inside, everything on the dominant side is outside. So if we say take a knee, you're going to put your dominant leg knee down to the ground, okay? Your saber blade is going to be down on the ground, all right? Your dominant hand is going to be on the bottom, 
Your non-dominant hand's gonna be on top. Those of you that know outside and inside, your outside hand's gonna be on the bottom, your inside hand's gonna be on the top, okay? Because from here, we can, you can pay attention, we can get everyone's attention, you can see, we can see you, you can see us, no one's blocking anybody, okay? Hold your balance, and then if we say on guard, here's what's really cool. You just flip your outside hand, your dominant hand, you step back with the non-dominant hand, and you're in your fighting stance, okay? Or your fighting stance. Easy as that, okay? So non-dominant leg is on, sorry, dominant leg is on the ground. No, uh, dominant hand, your outside hand is on the bottom. Non-dominant's up, here, on guard, flip, and step back. That would be for Zidane. For Inazuma, flip to the middle grip, on guard. You want to move away when you're on the ground, you want to move away from your opponent to give you that space. Okay? So let's review. Grab the emitter with your inside hand, your non-dominant hand, put it to your hip. If you have a belt like I do, any kind of belt, put it in your belt and put your hand on the emitter. Dominant hand, small of your back. Feet shoulder width apart, back straight. Drawing your saber, you move your non-dominant side, the inside, where the saber is. You draw your saber and you salute staying upright and power up. Okay? And then you can go into whatever stance you're going to work on. Our horse stance, we step out with our inside leg, our non-dominant leg, bend your knees, and start with Zidane. When you're practicing horse stance, always start with the foundation, Zidane. Okay? Come, so, so come back to salute. Bring your non-dominant leg in. Let go with your non-dominant hand, your inside hand. Salute. If you want to go into fighting stance or on guard, step back with your inside leg. Boom. Or boom. Or whatever your stance is. Okay? So, ready stance, salute, horse stance, and your on guard. We'll have a video just on your on guard stance per rank. So if you are an initiate and you are starting off with Zidane, we will show you proper stance, proper movement, proper etiquette. Okay? And that's going to cover basically how to salute, how to stand in tension stance. Oh, and again, you're going to have your dominant knee, dominant knee down, so your outside knee down, outside hand, dominant hand on the bottom, other hand on top, and you can just step back and you're in your stance. All right? So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, please comment if you have any questions or any concerns or anything, and please don't forget to subscribe. All right? Have a great day. We'll see you next time.